Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is a Pathfinder module called We Be Four Goblins. It's about some goblins coming of age. I actually played this at WolfCon, I don't know, it was a couple years ago or maybe three years ago. Uh, it was kind of cool. It's kind of like a, a intro to role-playing game for the Pathfinder system. You could easily port it to 5th edition, but it's like kind of like a family game, something that uh, you can play with the f whole family. All goblins have to start somewhere as whelps of the Lictoad tribe just out of their swaddling cages. The goblins Chuffy, Mogmerch, Poog, and Rita must prove themselves by undergoing a series of challenges from tying a string to a large spider and shouting insults with hot rocks in their mouths to facing off against the goblin bully and his dim-witted minions. As a final test of their mettle, they must make a dangerous and smelly trek to claim a toad from the nearby swamp and present it to the terrifying presence that lurks within the cave of dark fear, only after which they can truly call themselves goblins. But as the goblins return to the Lictoad village, they come across a brightly colored, jingling human carrying a map to a small farm up the river where a family of halflings are celebrating a wedding, the perfect setup for a goblin raid. Will the heroes acquit themselves in the finest goblin fashion by wrecking havoc upon the nuptials, or will they be bitten by ferocious dogs and smashed by frying pans? All right, let's take a look inside. I don't know. I, I, I bought this at auction. I don't know if they actually charge for this uh, or just gave it away at conventions, but it says it's part of free RPG day, so I, I don't know if it initially was free, but I didn't pay much for it, so no big deal. And here's a little map here. This is, sorry, I had it upside down. That's embarrassing. All right, uh, Paddlefoot Farm. That's the farm they're going to raid. And so it starts talking about uh, um, the village the goblins are part of and how they get released from the cages and so forth. All right, now it's talking about Lictoad badges. These are little badges that are magical items that they uh, can get if they uh, pass these four trials they must go through. And the first is animal friendship. Uh, they prove their mastery over dangerous creatures by tying a leash to a large spider. And if they successfully do, fo do so, they get a Lictoad badge. And this Lictoad badge increases their damage from one attack by 1d6 points. And then the next uh, thing they have to do... They have to injure themselves in a creative way to the tribe's delight. Just something that does like a few points of damage. And then they'll get a Lick Toad badge. And this one will gain a benefit against a single attack uh, by uh, hurling you five feet away from the attacker. It can only be used once. And uh, the other trial they do is Hurtful Words. Uh, they have to deliver a clever insult while chewing on a hot stone. And that gives them the Lick Toad badge. Uh, that uh, spews forth a stream of uh, blistering invectives against a single creature with an intelligence score of three or higher within 30 feet. And this uh, allows uh, you to do an intimidate check to demoralize the creature. All right, now they have to go get their um, lick toads. So they go to the bog and... Uh, they have to roll to see if they catch a lick toad, and if they do anything like try to be stealthy or something or something clever, then obviously they get bonuses and they're more likely to catch the toad, which they can lick. And the licking of the toad gives them like a narcotic effect, and in addition to that, it gives them five tempor temporary hit points once per day if they lick a, a toad. So anyhow, after they do that, they run into a bully, which is another goblin. They have to fight him and his minions to keep their lick toads. And after that, they go to the Cave of Dark Fear, and it's actually just kind of like a shed with a dead human in it. And uh, they have to... And they have to go in there and announce themselves by singing their personal song. And there's raccoons in there, and the raccoons may attack, and they'll have to fight them off. So, anyhow, on the way back, uh, they come across uh, 
half-elf woman who's got like kind of a, a wagon where she sells things and she tries selling them some junk, I don't know, some medicine or something. And as soon as she figures out that they don't have any money, she starts throwing rocks at them. So then they fight her and most likely they'll end up uh, finding a map to a wedding. So they get back to their tribe and they show the lick toads and now they're I guess you would call them they're they've proven themselves as goblin children so people in the tribe find out about the wedding and they decide they're going to do a goblin raid on it so you d they do the goblin raid and they're trying to cause as much uh destruction and mayhem as possible and uh it's a halfling uh, uh farm that they're raiding and the halflings have this guy corporal Gunders, who is actually a human, and he's like a mercenary they hired to uh, protect them. So, anyhow, after the raid is done, if the halflings survive and get back to their village, they're considered heroes, and uh, they can loot and so forth. In here, it's got the stats for the people they encounter, like Corporal or Corporal Gunders, some halflings and stuff. I think this is the woman who attacks him with the uh, frying pan and so forth. And back here, it's got the stats for the goblins. I mean, it's a real simple adventure, but it's kind of cute, and it'll be something that be yeah, good if you're trying to introduce your kids or something to role playing. It'll be a good one. I play fifth edition usually. When I played this at the convention, they did it with Pathfinder, but you could easily convert this to uh, fifth edition without any difficulties whatsoever. That's who I played, Chuffy Lick Wounds. And Looks like they've got some uh, figures, too, pre-painted ones. I wouldn't mind getting them. I mean, i got tons of painted goblin figures, but these are kind of cool. If I could get them for a cheap price, I would. But anyhow, just wanted to show you guys this uh, Pathfinder Adventure module. Like I said, it's not bad for a little family adventure. Have a good evening.